right, so this is Not Alone, a game I paid four bucks for. Psychological horror game. Other than that, I don't know nothing about it. Another one of the ones we don't uh, watch the trailer on or anything, so. We will see. Trust them, don't trust them. The car let me down. Yes, it did. I see the gas station. Find a fuel. Hmm, okay. I need to get some fuel. I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, there is a crouch button. No jump though. to go to that scary house. Fine by me. seen this house somewhere before. <sighs> Don't know what that was. I feel like I missed a jump scare or something. Like maybe it something flashed over here. Okay. Oh, I love that. The fucking doors that are locked. Come on. Oh, it's dark and scary. There's no one here to help me. I have to get out of here. What can I go? Oh, oh, okay. It's all blocked off now. Oh, God. in there. I can't see shit, so... There's no brightness. Oh well. Oh, oh. Excuse me, I did up all night again. Nope, oh, I'm not moving now. Shit. I fucking broke the game. We're stuck. What's that? Okay. 
Okay, but anyways, oh, escape isn't even working. I am screwed. I have to like shut down manually. Okay, we'll be back. All right, we're back. We had to restart the game. Figured I would go start it back from the inner of the house because I do feel like I missed a jump scare by turning this way. So I look this way, then this way, and I bet there is something I missed. Like I said, I thought so. When the camera shook, I'm like, ah, there was probably some weird shadow or something. Alright, okay. So we are not going to escape the game. Just double check to make sure. Okay, there's nothing in the drawers. Come on, where's the flashlight? All these war games have flashlights. Hmm. Oh. Don't need that when we have... I hate reading. Uh oh, read. My husband and I bought a large country house. We liked the house right away, large and spacious, which is what we needed. Plus, the price was reduced. I don't understand why. Peter said he, we can't pass up a chance like this. After all, the house is being sold with the gas station. Housing and business together, what could be better? Is silly because we could open drawers. Whatever. Okay. I mean, it is creepy. Definitely is creepy. Can't get around that. Come on, dude. That's locked. This is definitely, yeah, really eerie, even though nothing's really happening. What am I supposed to do here? I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, key. There we go. Ridiculous. I hate that when it's like, look for the key. I really don't like that about games. When it's like, look around for the key. Go ahead and do that shit again. Okay. Oh, what are you? Kind of felt like that was going to happen. Okay, another note of not a note. There's a zippo, we could use that for sure. Oh, there's a note. <clears throat> our, first, our first few weeks in the new home have been fabulous. We relaxed and completely immersed ourselves in the atmosphere of the secluded area. I can't stop being amazed at the view outside the window. Spacious fields and green trees. Peter even began to take an interest in gardening. He already spent a few days planting flowers along the path. 
Okay. So, okay. You know it's coming, but like still, that still getting me. But it's a little too much, I'll say that. Like the jump scares and the turning the lights off. It's like a uh, oh, another key. So. Let's read yet another note. Strange things have started to happen in the last few days. The first thing that alerted me was the sounds at night. I could hear someone walking down the hall, but Peter checked. No one was there. And last night, I'm pretty sure I heard a whisper outside my bedroom door. I felt uneasy, and I thought I saw a shadow in the crack of the door, but when I checked, there was no one there. He's going to turn on right when we walk up to it. Or not. Oh. VHS, nope. It's not working. Hmm. Whoa, look at that, look at that. <laughs> yeah, jump scares. like this is just, you know, the find the key thing. I don't know if there's any real danger. Oh, there's a key thing. <laughs> yeah, see? Find the key thing. Too much. Like I said, the jump scares are too uh, close together, so. Steps, I'm not even worried about. If they were the jump scares were further apart, you might be like, "Wait, is something coming?" But yeah. Anyways, Mary dear, I can't find the key to the wicket. I must have lost it somewhere. The spare key should be in my office on the second floor. Okay. How do we get to the second floor? I go out this door. No, I cannot. Check this again. Yeah, that's not working. Hmm. Oh, oh, what is that? The wicket is locked. I got. I need a key to get out. 
Oh, there's a door right there. I can tell though. On the second floor. Hold on. Do I need to go back in the house now? I wonder if that whole cardboard is going to be moved or if I can take that hammer that was there and destroy it. Here we go again. Yes, here we go again. Oh, no, don't need to destroy it. It's already gone. Go door to door. Nope, not there. This is a bathroom. Nothing there. Next door. Oop, let's check this out. Oh, there's a key. Let's just find the key and move all, the... all the lights went out over there. August 18th. Something strange happened in the kitchen today. Peter and I were sitting at the dining room table when a chair that stood by the empty side seemed to move by itself. We looked at each other in surprise. I'm pretty sure... I didn't touch the chair with my foot. We decided it was just a fluke. Yeah, whatever. So the letters are just trying to tell a story, but... Oh! There we go. I bet that's the outdoor key. Oh, that's it. Damn it. Another letter. My fears are getting worse. Something strange happened today. I can't find Peter. He disappeared somewhere. I've searched the whole house, but he's nowhere to be found. I feel so alone and helpless. All these strange events have started to surround me, and I'm starting to lose control of myself. My head feels so heavy, like there's something blocked. I can't get rid of it. so bad at codes. No. Shh. 
Shit. I'm so bad at those. Okay, fuck it. Let's go all the way. Uh, first, let's... Oh, oh, that door is unlocked now. What? Oh, god damn it, you fucking son of a bitch! Five. It's five something. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you sucked. <laughs> okay, so it gave us a tip there. But does it. I can't make out the other ones. Five is the first word, first letter, I should say. See shit in here. Okay, need that light on and knock it off. Okay, need that light on. So, wait, that's new, isn't it? Okay, five. That doesn't let me see what the other ones are. I feel like almost guessing. What else am I supposed to do? Seven, nine. Okay, five, seven, nine. There we go, there we go. There we go. Where was that again? Yes, five, seven, nine. Okay. That wasn't the hardest thing to figure out. <laughs> what do we have? Just another key or something? <laughs> yeah. Okay. My guess is... Well, that looks like a different type of key, so it should be the outdoor key, correct? We opened all the doors upstairs. Yes, we have. Let's go. Wait, what about this door? Nope, that's still locked. Let's go all the way outside. Avoid jump scares. You know it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Wait, is that... Oh, that's locked. Wait, why is that locked? <laughs> Find a way out of here. This way is blocked. Okay, that way is blocked. I really don't like those noises. So surprised you can't. I would have bet money that that TV does something. Uh oh. Oh, that's just the chair shadow. Well, let's see here, though. I have a key. Shit the frick off.
Okay, it's not to there. Let's go back downstairs. Can I pick up the hammer and like start to break these fucking boards off? No. Can't go through that door. See, and this way is blocked. And why is this way blocked though? Basement. There we go. There's some creepy shit there. I think I'm going to try to talk to you, actually. Should I? Now let's go for it. Let's try to... Oh, here we go. What is it? Alright. Okay, can I get out the, the gate here? I saw a bicycle near the gas station. Yard down yet. Yep, that one didn't get me. Nope, didn't get me. Bicycle. Oh, I'm saved. Alright. Well, not the most difficult game, but still, pretty good jump scares in there. I love it. It's good. I want to see what happens. If I would have talked to, well, talked, if I would have walked up to the ghost. Should I go through the whole thing again to get to that spot? I think I will. Yeah. I think I'm stuck on the screen. It's not letting me do anything. But I'm going to run through it real quick, and I'll start recording again once we get to right where we just were. See if that ha anything happens when we uh, talk to the ghost. Ran through that whole thing again, and now we're back at the basement. Let's see what happens when uh, we don't run from this guy. Here. All right, let's go. Oh, it doesn't let me do anything. I'm right here if you want to get me. Okay. Well, hey, all right, let's go outside, but we won't uh, make a run for it, we'll just hang out. Uh. Yeah. Let's see if I can go back in even. No, it doesn't let me go back in. All right. There's the bicycle, but Let's see if there's anything else we can do. My guess is no. I 
don't think anything's going to come to get us. No, oh, I can't run back to the car down there. Well, I guess there's no, it is just psychological horror. There is no real danger. What? Well, I give up. Let's just go to the bike. I guess that's it, guys. Alright. Like I said, still fun to play. Anyways, catch you all on the next one.